28 days until the biggest victory yet. I will be Prime Minister for the next four years. Yes, boss. Look, we're already down in the polls. If we want election night to be our night, we gotta try harder, okay? Look at this thing. We're already down in the polls. We gotta be better. Yes, boss. You know what? What do you say to the campaign quote, no to climate change? Yeah, I agree. Especially since people don't want to recycle or pay taxes for climate change. This movement, according to my calculations, would push us up in the polls. Let's do this! Yes, boss! Bingo! My life's work on climate change. Now if only I could present this to the Prime Minister, I know he'd pass new laws to reduce carbon emissions. Since you didn't turn in your assignments in time, you spent detention cleaning up the lab. Shine every desk, clean every sink, and make sure all the materials are in place. Everything. This will take forever. Forever is an understatement, Yinju. Let's get it going. Gross, what animals are working here, Julia? Wild ones. What? A press conference tonight? This is my chance to present my evidence on climate change. Oh, students, I need to step up for a moment. Keep doing what you're doing, and if you see anything dangerous, uh, don't touch it. Too fancy for work, eh, Yinju? I'm not getting my uniform dirty. I like to look good at all time, Haru. What is it? Guys, check us out. Looks like someone has had a few failed experiments. Didn't the professor say not to touch anything dangerous? Don't be a nerd, Daniel. So, what does it do? I don't know. Why is it shining? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Alright, can we start with the first question, please? Sir, who will be the successful candidate for our next Prime Minister? Of course it's gonna be me. I do my best for this country. Every minute, every second, and every day. What changes are you going to make to benefit this country? Yes, nice question. Well, the answer to this is that nothing. Absolutely nothing. No new laws, especially regarding climate change. Sir, why are you not concerned about climate change? Well, first of all, it's fake. Climate change is fake, and it's a conspiracy theory, okay? It's not gonna happen now or in the near future, I swear. Prime Minister Emran, what is your administration's platform? Ha, <laughs> I can't tell you that yet, just look forward to it. Excuse me, sir, I disrespectfully disagree. How can climate change be fake? Listen, whoever you are, be quiet, it's fake. Scientists have been going on and on about this, but it still hasn't happened. I can show you the proof. No need for that. You made me mad. Get out of here. Ah, sorry for the interruption. Let's continue. Oh my gosh! Is everyone okay? Yeah, I feel fine. In fact, I feel great! Ah! This can actually cut things. Hmm, interesting. Wait, where's Julia? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Um, guys?
What is that? Looks dangerous. I know, right? Weird. Hey there, am I like floating now? Where's my body? This is really weird. She talked? Whoa. Can't believe the Prime Minister just. What kind of press conference is that? What happened here? Mr. Mr. We found this device, it exploded, and Julia just died suddenly. Julia died? Oh no! Oh no! Gosh! Ah! Ah! I should have never left you alone! Yeah, you totally shouldn't have. Now, I'm a hologram, or something. Interesting. Oh, looks like you found my expandery. I was ho actually hoping to make trees bigger in an effort to reduce greenhouse gases. But it required too much energy to work properly. It seems to have backfired. What? what? Alright, well, um, I feel terrible about this accident. I uh, take full responsibility. And in fact, I'm adopting you all. Yeah, but we still have parents. Never mind that. I'll look after you from now on. Um, okay. And now, since you're off superpowers, we need a greater purpose. I wonder what that could be. We are coming to you live from Antarctica with Dr. Mikkelsen. Behind us, the glaciers are mounting. Doctor, any theories? Um, yes, I believe that climate change is causing the ice to melt. Um, but there have been some very interesting sounds that we can't explain. Sounds? What do you... Well, on that... Odd. Anyways, you heard it here first. Now on to our lunch break. Here you go, lunch time. Oh, this looks really good. What is it? Well, it is... What is that? Run! What? This can't be real. Yeah, I was right. Take that, Prime Minister. Oh! Um, what are you doing? You have to look at this. Oh god, a monster! Well, yes, but more importantly, I was right about climate change. Look, even this scientist agrees with me. But what about the thing? Well, isn't that our job now? What? what? Dude, do you feel the shaking? Oh my god, yes! What is it? Is it an earthquake? Huge! 
Are we dying? No, no, we will be okay, hopefully. Washi, washi. I need to get through the general. Speaking. There's a humongous vector destroying Minato Mirai. What should we do? <laughs> Don't waste my time. No, look! Here, there's a picture of it. Okay, this was not what I expected. We must strike immediately. Get ready to fire! Yes, sir! Again, don't give up! massive and strong. What should we do? Oh god, this is impossible. We are too weak to destroy the penguin. We must contact the Prime Minister and evacuate the city immediately. We are in big danger. We must evacuate the city right now. What? We can't do that. The election is only in a few days. We have to win. Uh, what do we do? Aha! Uh -huh. We can just tell people that Penguin's fake, just like climate change. Choo choo! These people are fools. We are coming to you live from Minato Mirai City where there have been reports of a giant penguin attack. People are desperate for answers. We ask, where are our leaders? Look, the giant penguins destroying the city. What should we do? Let's go and help them. Hey guys, look at this. Wait, isn't this the Prime Minister? Why isn't he doing something? Yeah, right? He's telling people to stay in the city. Oh, it's making it worse. Is there anything we can do? Well, you guys do have superpowers. Oh yeah! But we don't know how to use them. We're not skilled enough to fight the giant penguin. You need to train. Agree. What could we do to be stronger? Do I have to explain everything? Now, you need to exercise regularly, strengthen your muscles, and eat healthy food every day. And one more thing, you do need a generic power anthem to train to. Let's do this! down the tree, you need to think about the environment too. Oh, my bad.
Are you guys okay? I don't, I don't even think we can defeat this giant penguin. That whole training montage was for nothing? I saw you guys fighting against the giant penguin. Do you know where it came from and why? Well, we think that the giant penguin came from the Antarctica. It must have been trapped in ice. And because of climate change, the ice had melted. And now it's here. Wow, thank you so much for your time. And that's Dixie, signing off. Boss, Borja upset from the penguin tax. And now these heroes on TV are saying that climate change is the cause of it all. No, my poll numbers. We have to do something. Boss, I've got it. We'll have a giant rally. That's it. That will boost my ratings. But where will we hold this rally? General Howdy, how's it going? So, we were just talking about how we could save this election. I was thinking to hold this big rally, and I was wondering, is it possible to get security for this? Sir, I assume you've seen the news. The penguin is out of control. It might destroy the whole city. Hosting a rally will put our people at risk. Which is why, like I said, I need extra security. Sir, I ask you this again. Please, evacuate the city. What do you not understand? But, 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 we've been over this. I am not evacuating the city. This whole penguin drama will blow over. Evacuation will only cause panic and make me lose in the polls. End of discussion. Wait, but... Uh, come on, come on, you should be here. Aha, bingo. Look! What is this exactly? It smells of egg. This, friends, is my old science notebook. Sorry for the smell, I uh, um, had an accident. Now students, I think you're slightly too short to defeat this penguin. Uh, excuse you, I'm actually very tall for my age. The audacity of this man. I am literally Bigfoot. Yes, yes, you're very tall. But, I mean, this penguin, have you seen the size of that thing? It could literally crush you in like five seconds. So, how's this a notebook going to help? These are all my notes for the expander ray. There must be something in here. Aha! It says we need a DNA sample from one of the subjects for it to work properly. Without it, the device may explode, causing injuries, death, or superpowers. <laughs> I also need a tremendous amount of energy to power it. Me? You're looking at me? No, no, sorry. That, that was a horrible thought. I, I feel terrible for even thinking it. What is it? I want to help. Tell me. Well, in theory, you have pure energy, which is enough to power the rain. But, but it's out of the question. Why? Daniel, she's your classmate. We can't just kill her. So, I'm already dead. Inside and outside. I think we should do it. Isn't this like murder? Listen, when I died in the blast, I personally thought that would be the end of me. I could go out in a big bang and just disappear into thin air. Now, well, I'm a floating head. And I think this is my last purpose, to sacrifice myself. But... This is my choice. I know you guys can do it, but I physically can't anymore. I don't even have a body. Very well then. Are you ready to risk your life to save this city? Yes! yes. How are we all doing today? <laughs> Citizens of Mia to your right. Isn't it a nice and chilly day? No one here is feeling warm, right? No! A lot of these bogus scientists say that the Earth is getting warmer. What a load of nonsense, right? Right? Have you guys heard these people? These scientists saying that the glaciers are melting. And what's even crazier, there are these researchers out there saying that there's a giant prehistoric penguin running amok. These scientists are crazy if you think that we're going to fall for their little story. Everyone, sit down, sit down. I'm sure it was not Let's get out of here. Wait, what about the scissors? Do we just leave them? As long as I don't die, who cares about them?
no, what happened to my new building? The penguin's attacking again. I guess this is it. Now I just need a DNA sample from each of you. Oh. Ow. Ah! Try to get me a sample from the penguin. I should be able to reverse the device and shrink it down. A little warning next time. Now, are you ready to say goodbye to Julia? Oh, we're doing this now? Yup. Julia, any last words? Well guys, it was a trip. I lived long enough to see what life is like, the many things it has to offer, and what I'll be missing, like hoverboards, flying cars, and seeing my baby brother being born. Oh gosh. So, I'm having serious second thoughts about this. And done. Right, it's time for you guys to get this penguin. Pew pew pew! Oh. Not that I'm complaining, but why did the machine give us costume? Ah, noodles. I must have crumpled this building because we're like 60 meters tall. Crap, is the professor okay? We didn't crash him, right? I'm down here. I'm gonna get out the way because no superpowers. Okay, bye. <laughs> oh yeah, the penguin. Charge! But still unpredictable. Just do it. Professor, catch. Oh, got it. Recarbating the DNA. Let's do it, everyone. We did it! We? I didn't see you getting your butt kicked by a giant penguin. Yeah, I need a nap. Well, I think it'll be weird if we slept as giants, so I'm glad we're back to normal size. You get some rest, and I'll take care of our Arctic friend here. Good morning, students. I hope you don't mind meeting in the alley, but, you know, the school is destroyed. So what happened to the penguin? I have a contact at the zoo. They'll be taking care of her. Seems like she was about to lay an egg and she was looking to make a nest this whole time. So the giant penguin's gonna be a mommy? Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Wait, what about that girl's prime minister? Oh, I almost forgot. Last night was election night. Let's check the results. Following his disastrous handling of the penguin situation, the former prime minister lost the election with an unprecedented 0% of the vote.
And this news is real. Ah, payback is so sweet. Yeah, he will never work in this town again. Thank you so much for the job. I really needed it. Well, you're in luck. We just got a new arrival. You'll just have to clean her enclosure every day. No, no. <laughs> Anything but that. Oh, look, she likes you. She thinks you're the papa.